Raider Nation, what's going on? It's Mitch Renz here, host of the Raiders Report, and it's Victory Monday. Smile. The Raiders got a dub 16-12 to over the New York Jets on Sunday Night Football. And we got to be able to face the facts. Getting a win in the NFL can be hard. And if you have a hard time getting hard, go check out today's sponsor, Rex MD. Go get them right now. That link's going to be available to you guys down in the comments and in the description. RexMD.com slash chat. 95% off, and you're going to be able to get a free gift. Sounds pretty good to me. Who needs to do the gift that keeps on giving? So coming up here is going to be the three biggest topics that I think people like to talk about after the game. And we're going to talk about Antonio Pierce. We're going to talk about uh, Aiden O'Connell, Josh Jacobs. You could go a lot of different directions in this one. And, you know, when you have a head coach or an old head coach in Josh McDaniels, a lot of the concentration goes on the offensive side of the football, which absolutely you can look at the offense. The Raiders offense struggled today. Really couldn't get much going. And the offensive line played a really shitty game. Josh Jacobs was good. Really costly fumble there at the end of the game. But to me, the concentration of this show should really be on the defensive side of the football. The Raiders' defense is balling out week after week. And for the first time in a long time, this defense is a legit unit from top to bottom. Well, they play with a lot of heart. And one player that plays maybe with more heart than anybody is, is Robert Spillane. And I'm going to say something right now. If I'm the member of the Las Vegas Raiders, if I'm Antonio Pierce, I go to Mark Davis and I say, hey, I get it. We signed Spillane in the offseason to a two-year, $9 million deal. But guess what? Dude's a Raider. And I want Robert Spillane to be a Raider for life. So because of that, I'm giving him an extension. I'm making sure that the 27-year-old, he's got a birthday coming up on December 14th. I want to make sure that Robert Spillane is a Raider for life. When you're the type of dude in week eight, break your hand, finish playing that game, then you get surgery on your hand, play week nine against the Giants, and then you make the interception that Spillane had in tonight's football game. I mean, he's been the best free agent signing that this team has had, I, I'm telling you, in quite some time on the defensive side of the football. 81 tackles, two and a half sacks. He had a sack tonight. He's got three interceptions, a fumble recovery, three tackles for loss, but there, there's not many people that I look at and I go, he reminds me of Mad Max. Not on the level of how talented they are, though Spillane has been a phenomenal linebacker this season. It's this, if we're going to create an image, like we're going to bring back the Raider way, right? Like we're going to be that team that people want to, that people that are, the team that people are afraid of. On top of that, though, you have a guy that's going to be able to build that right culture in the locker room because I would run through a brick wall for Max Crosby. I would run through a wall for Antonio Pierce. And Robert Spillane gives me that I'm running through a wall for somebody type of vibes. So if you want Robert Spillane to be a Raider for life, I want you to spam 41 because my goodness, that man deserves it. All right, let's go to the next story coming up here on the show. We talked about Robert Spillane. I think he deserves his flowers, no doubt about it. Now let's talk about Antonio Pierce, the Raiders interim head coach, because guess what? The top trending topic is this. Antonio Pierce is 2-0. Should the Raiders go this route? Should they go with the interim? Should they make him the brand new head coach for 2024? I'm going to give you my answer, but i got to tell you again about today's awesome sponsor, RexMD, the number one leader in men's telehealth. All you got to do is go to RexMD.com slash chat. Fellas, do you sometimes lack confidence in the bedroom? Do you wish that... Yeah, maybe a little bit more of a fulfilling sex life. Well, you're not alone. That's why we were excited to tell you about RexMD, the online source for men's wellness. RexMD offers an easy and discreet way to get your medication you need for ED without having to visit a doctor's office. With just a few clicks, you can have your medication delivered straight to your door and at a fraction of the cost of traditional pharmacies. RexMD's team of licensed physicians will work with you to find the right treatment plan and their medication is made in the usa so you can trust its quality plus their customer support team is available 24 7 to answer any questions or concerns you may have so if you're ready to take control of your sex life and say goodbye to ed head on over to rexmd.com slash chat and start your consultation today take advantage of the best deal that they've ever offered and get up to 95 percent off plus rexmd and you're going to get a gift with our exclusive link rexmd dot com slash chat go to rexmd.com slash chat for this limited time deal chugs has put that link for you guys down in the comments and in the description shout out to them for sponsoring today's show so let's talk about antonio pierce now because 
Speaking of hard, Mark Davis is going to have a hard decision if this team keeps playing the way that they are. They're playing their freaking dicks off right now for Antonio Pierce. And you know what? I'm going to give this one two just win, babies. It's still a coin flip. I mean, yes, you were able to beat the Giants. You should have beat the Giants. Yes, you were able to beat the New York Jets. That was a tougher game. The Jets' defense, I think, is one of the best defenses in the entire league. But this team is playing for each other. And that does deserve to be a big-time talking point. Like, man, you got players after the game dancing like Devontae Adams. You got Josh Jacobs saying, you know what? Uh, I'm thinking about coming back to the Raiders because I, I would like to play for Antonio Pierce. It, Pierce is one of those dudes where he's has that ability to change a culture. When he looks at you, players listen. And guys are going to go out there and, and guys want to play for him. On top of that, sometimes to be a head coach, you got to have a set of nuts on you, okay? Antonio Pierce tonight, some of the plays that he had, like the fourth and one, you're on your own 45-yard line. You think it's going to be a tush push, and instead it's a it's an end around with DeAndre Carter. That takes some freaking balls to do a play like that. And I get it. Maybe they're playing this like, hey, it's us against the world type of mentality. We got nothing to lose. Well, guess what? I like when the Raiders play like it's us against the world mentality. And Antonio Pierce is going to be able to bring that. Now, got to beat Miami or got to play solid against Miami. Two tough games right now with Kansas City, but this was a team that was 3-5. and five. Nobody even gave them a shot. And now I'm sitting up here saying, what if they make the playoffs? Because to me, if you want Antonio Pierce to be the head coach of the Raiders, they need to make the playoffs. So my question to you is this. Honestly, do you want Pierce to be the Raiders head coach? Give me a yes, give me a no. That first half of that Raiders-Jets game, it was ugly. I thought Bo Hardigree did not do a very good job. And then at halftime, Antonio Pierce looked in the camera and he was like, we need to be able to run the football a little bit more. Guess what? That's what they did. They got it going, and they came away with a win. Now, remember, y'all, we're dropping videos all the time here at the Raiders Report. Sub for Raiders dubs. Chugs and I are going to be live on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then week 11 against the Miami Dolphins. Let's go to the next story here. We got to talk about the quarterback, and it's Aiden O'Connell with another win under his belt. He is the future for the Las Vegas Raiders, correct? Mm, not so fast, sweetheart. Give me that one just win, baby head, because to me, I don't see a world where you can say our fourth round pick, he's going to be the future right now. If the Raiders decide to keep Antonio Pierce because they make the playoffs and Antonio Pierce goes, hey, I want to keep Aiden O'Connell as my quarterback, then you roll with him. If you see that there's no doubt about it that AOC is the future, then maybe you roll with him. But to me, there's still a lot of football left to be played. And, he, and here's the other thing. If I was Antonio Pierce and I had a shot to get my very own quarterback, I would at least consider it. You have to, considering how talented some of these QBs that are coming out in next year's draft. But Aiden's got that silent swagger. Like, I mean, he is like a silent sniper. He looks at you. Dude's not phased. There was at times tonight he had a little bit of pitter-patter in his feet. The offensive line really struggled. But the thing that I love about Aiden, man, that guy is cool, calm, and collected every single time, and that is a quality that you need to be a successful quarterback in the National Football League. But it's still too early for me to say, that's your future. That's going to be the next quarterback that takes us to the, where the Raiders need to go because here's the ultimate goal, winning a Super Bowl. If you don't think that Aiden O'Connell can win you a Super Bowl, then he's not the future Raider. We'll find out very soon. All right, y'all, that's Overreaction Monday. I'm extending Robert's blame. I want that dude to be a Raider for life. That's the main reason why I made tonight's video. Antonio Pierce, Raiders head coach. Flip a coin. He's trending in the right direction. 2-0 already. Wild. And then AOC is the future for the Raiders. Still a lot of football to be played. The rookie looks good. The offense wasn't great. I'm hoping that we get it rolling a little bit more, though, next week against the Dolphins. And if you want to join our live show against the Dolphins, set your reminders. 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, live on Thursday. It's a big game in the AFC North. And then live on Sunday, Raiders, Dolphins. Got to wake up a little bit earlier there on the West Coast, but I look forward to it. Jeremy Chugs and I are going to be rocking the house, and hopefully you guys are rocking the bed tonight with Rex MD.